on Earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. Small blood stain, but not serious. Deep scratches left in a frenzy. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. Miserable food, mass-produced. Finglui, Maglanafa, Cthulhu, Rilia, Waganagal, Vatagan. What? What on? What on earth? Is that possible? Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? Fine rope work, cut by a finer blade. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. What the hell is happening, Holmes? 
Calm yourself. Is it? Oh my God! Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case.
Dr. Watson, how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? The Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Hello? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged. And I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Hatchet was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? The Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facility to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. <laughs> 